Hi, and welcome back to I'm a Happy Enchilada. And if it's your first time with us, thanks for joining us. I'm Don Culver, and I'll be your host. So once again, I want to take a moment to shamelessly plug an event I'll be emceeing next month. It's the 37th Annual Frank Brown International Songwriters Festival, November 4th through 14th, with over 200 nationally acclaimed songwriters in over two dozen venues along the Florida-Alabama Gulf Coast. Now, I'll be there every night, either in the main room at the world-famous Florabama or at the upscale Perdido Beach Resort, just a little bit up the road in an intimate venue downstairs. So go to frankbrownsongwriters.com for more information on venues, songwriters, and showtimes. It's going to be great, and I hope to see you there. Now, let's get to our topic. It's one we have all experienced, and a topic that can instantly bring one angst. It's guilt. Ah! We've all experienced those feelings of guilt over something we have done to hurt someone or perhaps something we didn't do that we should have done that hurt someone. And even those times where we feel a combination of guilt, shame, and embarrassment over a boneheaded move like maybe drinking too much the night before and making a fool out of ourselves or maybe saying something inappropriate to a coworker, or maybe getting a DUI, whoa. Those times when we wish we could just climb in a hole and pull the dirt over ourselves for a while. Well, it's just part of life and hopefully we learn over time to not repeat those things. Unfortunately, the guilt can stay with us for a while until we have the courage to admit our indiscretion and apologize for our actions and ask for forgiveness or convince ourselves over time that it wasn't so bad or that we actually did nothing wrong to begin with. Well, for most of us, over time, those guilty feelings fade into the past and the incident ends up in the warehouse of memories in our heads and seldom thought of again unless a word or a thought brings it back once again and instantly you relive it and feel those old feelings of guilt once again like it happened just five minutes ago. You know what I'm talking about, yeah. Well, I think for some guilt can linger for a very long time and cause much unnecessary pain and harm. I want to take a look at exactly what guilt looks like and ways we can help ourselves to minimize our guilt at the very least and work on eliminating it from our consciousness and focus on the present and moving ahead with our lives. Maybe a good starting place is realizing that we all make mistakes in life. It's one of the ways we learn. So you're not alone in making mistakes or using poor judgment that caused you feelings of guilt. So let's see what guilt looks like, shall we? All right. Well, the feeling of guilt is a sense of regret or responsibility that relates to actions taken. People may feel guilt over things they actually did wrong, things they believe were their fault, or things they had no responsibility for. You feel guilty when you did something that caused harm to someone for which you hold yourself responsible. For example, you can feel guilty when you break a precious face at someone's home. So how does guilt affect a person? Well, guilt can majorly affect your sense of self-worth and self-esteem. Guilt can be an elusive and hard to predict beast. Some feel it much stronger than others. Some of the physical symptoms of guilt are problems with sleep your stomach and your digestion and muscle tension. And here's an interesting question. What's the difference between guilt and shame? They all kind of sound the same, don't they? Well, while you may use shame and guilt to describe your feelings interchangeably, there's a big difference between the two. Guilt can help you understand how your actions impact others. 
but shame is an inward facing emotion that reflects how you feel about yourself. Hmm, sounds like a great enchilada episode to me. We'll have to get to that. Then there's chronic guilt, which can lead to a belief that situations are far worse than they really are and that the person is to blame for everything. These feelings may come from a sense of unworthiness rooted in past experiences. Okay, so let's see what we can do to help ourselves to let go of guilt, okay? Well, here's a good place to start. How do you apologize to someone you hurt badly? Say, I realize I hurt your feelings and I'm sorry. It acknowledges that you know what it was you said that hurt the other person and you take responsibility for it. Don't make assumptions and don't try to shift the blame. Make it clear that you regret your actions and that you are sincerely sorry. And here's some suggestions for coping with your guilt when you hurt someone in a relationship. Yikes. Sincerely apologize. Recognize that you can't change what has already happened. Remember, actions speak louder than words. We've heard that, right? Work on improving yourself. Consider couples therapy, good idea, and a few practices to help you become the best you can be. Focus more on positive self-talk. Make a conscious effort to stop putting yourself down. Practice kindness towards yourself. Stop comparing yourself to others. That's just not fair comparison. Think of mistakes as learning experiences. Be patient with yourself. Jeez, great advice. Now, I hope some of what we've talked about today has been helpful and lead you to a new awareness and a better life. We're all on a journey here to get to our best possible life, the one we deserve. So remember, change your thinking, change your life. Well, that's all I've got. So until next time, God bless and be a happy enchilada. Bye.